Violence affects the community, little kids and stuff, they, this is what they're growing up to and, and then they they see like maybe gangbangers and stuff and they're like, oh I want to be that because my dad was that or my brother was that or something so I think that has a big impact. If social workers and parents and teachers would take out time in their day and sit down and talk to the kids about the problems that they think we have, that then we would um, understand what we need to do to stop and they will understand where we're coming from. I think that most kids don't see themselves as leaders because they have been um, brought up by people that are afraid and who have taught them to reference outside of themselves. Well, I think a lot of young people today maybe don't feel like anybody cares about what they think. And I also think that it's very scary to step out and take a courageous stand about something that maybe your friends don't understand or don't agree with. So having the confidence and feeling supported in, in taking a stand, I think is necessary. And I don't know how many young people feel like they really have that kind of support. For a lot of young people, it's harder to achieve role of leadership because of the way the system is set up for young people, which is usually they're not in a powerful position. Other people are put in power, powerful positions to control, so youth have to find other ways that aren't as easy to access to most people. Change in general is hard because when you're changing something, you're talking about doing something different than what already exists. It's easier to run back to what was, whereas change you don't have any reference. A lot of young people um, have a real deep sense of powerlessness and that there's a lot of things that they see wrong in their schools and their neighborhoods even in their families, that they feel like that they don't have a lot of control over. So they haven't learned about power and how to get power. As a medium of exchange in the public arena, this is what people who understand power do every day. I want to know your story. I want to know what makes you tick. And as I get clear with my own self-interest, then we can connect around that self-interest and we can do work together around that self-interest. And in knowing that, we organize power, because power comes from organizing people. It's very difficult to be thinking about, okay, let's talk to youth and see what their ideas are about. At the adult world doesn't work this way. So part of public achievement's beauty is changing what young people do and having them try out roles that normally schools don't um, allow them to, to try out. Who are the leaders in your community? I am. Students from the Hope Community Center here in Minneapolis traveled to Colorado to attend a public achievement conference as part of their own public achievement documentary project. Accompanied by mentors on this trip, they were exposed to other youth engaged in changing their schools and communities through the vehicle of public achievement. They want to make a difference, and for people like you to come out and observe them and all the work that they've been doing is really important. What do you believe in? And the most important piece of this is why. This type of organizing really changed my life because I got clear with what I want to do. I want to change education. I can't do it myself. If students are upset with some, something, you know, either the system, something that's not working in the school, something that they see in the universe, you know what? I can give you 30 examples of what young people have been able to do. You need to follow suit now and leave your own legacy. And that, I think, is what really, I think they get that. Uncovering somebody's passion Uncovering someone's self-interest or uncovering an individual's what's alive in them, we do that with a whole group and with different organizations to try and understand what's alive in different organizations. 
kids know that you have labeled them. Mm -hmm. They know that you have a perception of them already. Treat every kid as, as, as we're all starting here. I don't know everything. You don't know everything. Let's, let's learn together. With uh, one of the gentlemen that we work with, you know, who, he was an inspiration at least to, 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 to all of us because he was very public with his ambivalence and was very honest with himself but continually threw himself in situations and waters that were uncharted and I, I wish that I had that much courage at that age, you know. My name is Sandy Boris Samson. I'm sorry I'm not that funny. <laughs> I'm not even necessarily that mobile, but I promise I'm about to do the best job that I can. I really will. He took the challenge and made no 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 bones or qualms about you know continually reemerging himself, and it was a metamorphosis that we all saw. Young people in the school get the opportunity to pick issues that matter to them, and then they work with a coach. And this coach is the person that uh, helps them uh, through a process of what we call everyday politics to uh, break down uh, their issue into a winnable um, project. And through that process, there is a lot of reflection around what they're learning uh, about power, self-interest, uh, themselves. One of the challenges in education is finding space in the current school structure that allows young people this opportunity to be themselves and to become powerful. Um, unless you have a, a principal that sees public achievement as a vehicle to do school, uh, it becomes difficult and people see it as an extra. Um, it can be an extra, but it is not as powerful unless it is seen as a core way of doing school. And what I mean by that is the teachers begin to s work with children differently, that the children learn that they do have power and they do have the ability to work on things that matter to them. Like, I think I have a better idea of what public achievement is. Before I just thought it was like kids working together um, with parents, with, with adults, trying to make your community better when it's like, I thought it was only in our neighborhood, but it's like all across the world. What did you guys do to change We went to city council and we asked the mayor it was just so inspirational seeing people use their power to actually change things, kids, you know, because you know that's going to stay with them for the rest of their lives. And knowing that it's on a national level. Well, I started dancing at the Longmont Youth Center about eight years ago. Um, from there, um, they asked me to start a dance class, and from then on, it's just been like five years, just straight dancing with the kids, um, like learning and growing together. Educators may look at break dancing as, well, why is that important? You know, that's not going to necessarily change the world, but in a way, it can and will. Uh, uh, when you allow young people to kind of decide about things that's important to them. A lot of people might look at what they were doing as breakdance and what I saw was people coming together, organizing, figuring out how to go about getting a space, how do we work as a team, how do we, how do we turn possibly an activity that an adult may see as a negative into a positive most of the schools that you know I've been working in, most of the schools that I'm, I care about, the kids that I'm working with, um, they're not they're not taught to have these free ideas and theories and critical critically think. You know, there's 16, 17 year old kids that have to ask for a pass to walk 20, 20 feet to go use the bathroom, and so they're being trained for a whole different thing. They're also being videotaped all day when they're at school. There's police presence in the school. There's all kinds of things that keep them from believing that they have the responsibility, the authority, the power to shape the communities that they're in. And so that's a really important piece of public achievement, whether it be in a school or at a neighborhood level, understanding you know, that developing a public life and getting that power is all of our responsibility and, um, and that we all can have a piece of that if we learn these key steps on how to get that. Mm -hmm.